Hey y'all, I'm Mo Glover and I'm a content creator for Cal.com. Today, I will be making spicy sweet potato hash. The ingredients needed to make spicy and sweet potato hash are sweet potatoes, two or three, one apple, a half a green pepper and red pepper, a red onion, bacon, I prefer turkey, thyme and parsley, sugar, pepper, salt, egg, jalapeno, because I like my spice, white vinegar, you can also use white wine, and olive oil. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the sweet potato. Sometimes um, before I cut, um, I like to uh, butter it with butter. Um, we're gonna not use butter today, but um, we're gonna definitely keep the skin on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in a quarter of an inch cubes. Um, the larger the cube, I'm not sure if you're familiar with cutting, but the larger the cube, the longer it will take to cook. The smaller the cube, the faster. So I'm gonna cut the sweet potato in cubes. So I have three pieces of turkey bacon and I did a little coating of olive oil. This will go in the oven while the potatoes are being made in a skillet. So we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of olive oil to the pan. Just enough to coat the bottom and let it heat up. You should heat it up as much as possible to come to about 350 degrees so that it's sizzling. So while that's going, we're gonna now get the onion. These are red onion. Yellow onion makes me cry, but I learned a trick that definitely helps about 80% of the time. I take the, uh, the onion and put it in the freezer before I cut it. I freeze it for about five to 10 minutes uh, because they say it's the, actually the smell that causes the irritation in your eyes. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of the salt and pepper. I'm gonna let those potatoes cook down. So that once you bite into them, they melt in your mouth. Okay, so now we're gonna add the peppers. I'm gonna probably use like, this is like a half a green pepper and red pepper, but I'm gonna just use hash. It's a mixture of potatoes with other ingredients. It's very price conscious. This dish is very inexpensive. It's great, you know, be great for families for breakfast. And it costs, you know, maybe about 10 to $15 to feed like a family of six. Can't beat that. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the thyme and parsley. We're going to sweeten this baby up a little bit more by adding a little bit of sugar. About a teaspoon. You can add a little bit more if you like. I wouldn't use any more than a tablespoon. Remember, I said sweet and spicy, right? So, to balance out the sugar and the apple, we're gonna put a little bit of vinegar. About a tablespoon. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more salt and pepper. Just a sprinkle. 
and a sprinkle of pepper. Because you don't want to put too much pepper because I have to put my special spice ingredient and this one is going to have jalapenos. Funny enough, I, my, one of my nicknames is Jalapena because I like jalapenos so much. at the jalapenos. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It smells so good. The heated olive oil is really starting to soak down all the ingredients and they're marrying together beautifully. So now we cut the apple in small pieces and finally chop the thyme and the parsley. Put the apples on top. So we have our potatoes, apple, green pepper, red pepper, jalapenos, thyme, parsley, salt and pepper, sugar, and vinegar. So now we're gonna make an egg, which is going to be added on top of the sweet potato hash. I guess it's a garnish, but it's actually gonna help accentuate the flavors. So we're gonna add a little bit of butter to the pan. Now I'm gonna add the egg. There we go. We're gonna do over easy, so we're not going to manipulate the egg at all. We can add a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. You can add a little salt and pepper for taste. There you go. And it's ready to come out. So here's my spicy and sweet potato hash. I have turkey bacon at the bottom and an egg over easy on top. It is a great dish for breakfast or brunch. I love pairing it with a mimosa. I hope you give it a try. If you like the spicy and sweet potato hash recipe, please click I like button. If you made it, please click I made it and share your own recipes. I can't wait to see them.